Hello everyone. Here you are seeing a question of simply supported beam. You just go through question draw BMD and SFD means bending moment diagram and SFD diagram for a simply supported beam of points A, B, C, D. Here he has mentioned the points A, B, C, D. A is your first point and D is your last point of span 5 meter. So let us draw a span of 5 meter. Overall is 5 meter. After that, such that AB is 2 meter. So A to B is 2 meter. A to B is 2 meter. After that, BC 1 meter. B to C is 1 meter. 1 meter. And C to D is 2 meter. C to D is 2 meter. It is loaded with UDL of 5 kN per meter over A to B. A to B loading UDL of 5 kN per meter and UDL of 2 kN per meter over point C to D. C to D 2 kN per meter. It also carries a point load of 10 kN at 2.5 meter from left support. It is This is your left support. From this point, 2.5 meter is carries a point load of 10 kN. Let us say it has point E. So this till point E, 2.5 meter from left support. So let us calculate reactions. So taking moment Moment about A. So, anti clockwise moment is equals to clockwise moment. So, anti clockwise moments at A means till point A RD into L means RD into 5 meter is equals to till point A means 2 into 2, 2 into 2 is UDL into distance into bracket 2 by 2 because of UDL acts exactly at the center plus the remaining distance 3 meter plus 10 into 2.5 plus 5 into 2 into 2 by 2. So RD into 5 is equals to 51. So RD is equals to 51 by 5 is equals to 10.2 kN. Next, sum of forces, sum of upward forces is equals to sum of downward forces. So sum of upward forces means A and D. So RA plus RD is equals to 5 into 2 plus 10 plus 2 into 2. 5 into 2 plus 10 kN plus 2 into 2 because of we have to convert this UDL into kN. Overall will be 24. So RA is equals to 24 minus RD 10.2 is equals to 13.8 kN. So RD is equals to 10.2 kN and RA is equals to 13.8 kN. So let us calculate shear force values. So shear force at A is equals to 13.8 kN positive because of upward direction. It is your upward direction and RA. Next shear force at B is equals to 13.8 minus because of downward direction 5 into is equals to 3.8 kN. Next, shear force at point E is equals to 3.8 minus 10 is equals to 6.2 kN. Minus 6.2 kN. Shear force at C, you have to take as it is because there is no load till point E to point C. So, minus 6.2 kN. Next, Shear force at point D is equals to minus 6.2 minus 
टू इंटू टू इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस टेन पॉइंट टू किलो न्यूटन सो नेक्स्ट आफ्टर डेट लेट एस कैलकुलेट बेंडिंग मूवमेंट वैल्यूज सो बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट पॉइंट ए एंड पॉइंट डी विल बी जीरो बिकॉज देर इज नो डिस्टेंस नेक्स्ट बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट पॉइंट बी इज इक्वल टू आर ए मीन्स थर्टीन पॉइंट एट बिकॉज ऑफ पॉजिटिव डायरेक्शन बिकॉज ऑफ डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन थर्टीन पॉइंट एट बिकॉज ऑफ अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन आर ए मीन्स we have to take positive because of upward direction here it is your upward direction r a r a plus 13.8 into 2 meter till point b minus 5 into 2 because of minus because of 5 into 2 means downward direction because here udl is acting downward direction 5 into 2 into 2 by 2 is equals to 17.6 kilo newton meter next bending movement at point e is equals to ra into till point e means 2.5 ra into 13.8 into 2.5 minus 5 into 2 into 2 by 2 plus 0.5 because of remaining distance 0.5 is remaining distance you are so 19. 5 kilo newton meter next bending movement at point c is equals to c is equals to you can take from d so first of all we have to first of all we shall go from r a so r a r a into till point c means r a into 3 13.8 into 3 minus 5 into 2 into bracket 2 by 2 plus 1 minus 10 into 0.5 answer will be 16.4 kilo newton meter or you can go from r d r d into 2 or r d means R D ten point two into two minus two into two into two by two. Your answer will be sixteen point four kilo newton only kilo newton meter. Same. You can go from R D or you can go from R A. So let us draw S F D and B M D. This is your center line. So R A is R A is equals to thirteen point eight. Positive go upward direction, go in upward direction. Thirteen point eight kilo newton. Next she shear force at B three point eight. Mark a point and join with the inclined line because of U D L three point eight. Come till points E. Next E point shear force at E minus six point. Come downward direction because of minus. Six point two kilo newton. Next shear force at C as it is six point two. Next shear force at D ten point two. Again join with a inclined line because of U D L. It is your negative sign and it is your positive values. It is your ten point two kilo newton. It is your S F D. Next, we shall draw bending moment here. So, bending moment at A and B are D are zero. Next, bending moment at B seventeen point six mark a point. Next, join with a parabolic arc. Again, next point E greater than that point. Join with a straight line. Next, at point C sixteen point four sixteen point four. Again, come with again join with a straight line. Next point C to point D join with a parabolic arc. It is all the signs are positive, 
so it is your 17.6 kilo newton meter point e is 19.5 kilo newton meter and point c is 16.4 kilo newton meter it completes your bending moment diagram so if you like this method of solving problem so please share as well as subscribe it thanks for watching